So, next we have properties of colloidal solution under that you have colligative properties. Already I said colligative properties in solution chapter. So, what do you mean by colligative property? Which the property which depends on the number of particles, is it right? So, that is nothing but called as colligative properties. How it is related to colligative properties? We are studying true solutions as well as colloidal solution, is it right? So, what about the size of the particle of colloidal solution compared to true solutions? True solution compare with the colloidal solution particles, so size is larger, is it right? The size of the colloidal particles is larger compared to true solutions, is it right? So, for that reason, you will have colligative properties note compared to true solution, what about the colligative properties? What are the colligative properties you have studied? So, osmotic pressure, elevation of boiling point, depression of freezing point and so you have uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure is two colligative properties. So, total you have four colligative properties. So, in this, so compared to the true solutions, the colligative properties of colloidal particles will be of lower order. Yak lower order is size jasti colloidal particles though, size jasti. So, larger aggregations agirate. So, size jasti and tandre, size jasti and tandre, yadak size jasti compare mano though true solutions ke. When you compare to true solution, the size of the particles of colloids will be larger. For that reason, number of particles in aito, kadme aito. Number of particles kadme aito, but concentration same irate. True solution concentration of the colloidal particles to concentration is same either. Concentration same either, but compared to the size of the particles, this is larger in colloids. So, smaller in true solutions. So, particles is just adaga, what about the number of particles decreases. Number of particles kadme adaga, the order of colligative properties also decreases. The order of colligative properties of collides compared to true solution is of lower order. So, that is explained by what colligative property. This is the first property under colloidal properties of colloidal solution. Okay, students. Now we have uh, second property Tyndall effect. So, most important for your examination Tyndall effect. So, repeat agi examination ge. So, sulpa important and correct agi note kodi oath kodi. So, Tyndall effect, what is the meaning of Tyndall effect? First thing, why we have to study this Tyndall effect? Yen ki Tyndall effect oath beku. So, to distinguish between true solution and colloidal solution. To distinguish between true solution and colloidal solution, we are going to study Tyndall effect. Okay. Suppose in the apparel set maadi Tyndall effect again. Okay. So, what is this Tyndall effect? Iga suppose ili B kernel and colloidal solution thoni di. Okay. So, if I take instead of colloidal solution, if I take true solution, true solution other thoni di thani kore. Okay. If I take the true solution, okay, idu na ano sodium chloride solution the replace maadi ni. If I replace by sodium chloride solution. Okay, whether those particles will scatter the light because Tyndall effect is used to study the scattering of light. Okay, now in sodium chloride solution, scattering of light agata agalva. So, 100 percent scattering of light agalali. Okay, so but now colloidal solution to go thin. If I take colloidal solution, the size of the particle is more than enough to scatter the light. Whereas, in true solution, true solution to daga, the size is not enough to scatter the light, the size is very much smaller compared to the size of the colloidal solution particles. So, therefore, the size of the particles in colloidal solution is more than enough to scatter the light. Okay. So, therefore, ega nano NSL berlin madi dini ga on colloidal solution to di dini. So, now I need to observe how the scattering of light takes place. Hex scattering agi denta check marbeku. Okay. So, now there are condition is there, Tyndall effect you have two conditions. So, now here you have two conditions to be studied uh, before entering into Tyndall effect. You got Tyndall effect over the error condition back, you know the error condition. So, compulsory you have two conditions. So, one condition number one, condition number one, what is this condition number one? The diameter of the dispersed phase particle, the diameter of the dispersed phase particle is not much smaller compared to the wavelength of the light used. Okay. So, actually this is what source, okay. wavelength of the light used and thandre. So, for this particular source, so the beam of light is coming out from this source and it has particular wavelength. Okay. wavelength The diameter of the particle is not much smaller compared to the wavelength of the light used. This is condition number 1. Next, what about condition number 2? 
with respect to refractive indices or refractive index. Yeh the refractive index antandre. So this is what the speed of light from one medium to another medium. That is called as what the speed of light from one medium to another medium. That is called refractive index. Already new physics nala odhe the na. Yeh ka refractive index hai ke depend aga thele. See the refractive index of the dispersed phase and the refractive index of the dispersion medium should be of large difference in magnitude. Magnitude and reno in terms of number. A difference in it that should be of large magnitude, difference in the large magnitude. Okay. So, this is what point number 2. These are the two conditions should be satisfied to study Tyndall effect. Right. Eager sir, what is Tyndall effect? Let us see. Now, held this. So, we are going to study the scattering of light. The size of the particle is more than enough to scatter the light right by the particles. Then what is the Tyndall effect? See a beam of light is passed from the source. Okay. Now, I need to see the scattering of light. Ega scattering of light node by Kondra, I can have an apparatus set made any do ultra microscope to study this Tyndall effect. So, Tyndall effect is used to set this uh, ultra microscope. So, yar is set made is ultra microscope na. E Tyndall effect na hoza ki ultra microscope beke beko. E ultra microscope na set made the arrow. So, name of the scientist is Sigmund D. Sigmund D and the Hiltevi. Name of the scientist is Sigmund D. Okay. So, he set this apparatus ultra microscope to see the scattering of light. Okay, so scattering of light under Hege. How to see this then? Okay, ultra microscope is there. So, beam of light is passed from the source. Okay. How to see? So, the direction is like this. How the The direction of the beam of light like this and you are seeing this mic. So, you are keeping this microscope here and here you have an eye. And eye on. Andre, you are seeing that. Yilinda new nodta idira. Andre, what about the direction? Whether it is perpendicular? Of course, the beam of light direction node and you see the direction of the microscope. It is perpendicular, Andre. You are seeing at right angle to the direction of the beam of light. So, beam of light direction any there, adi ke new right angle al node ta idira microscope in the. Is it right? Iga al node tar bekadra. He can see the sir lighto. So, exactly looks like what? Bright cone. It looks like what? Bright cone. And then a Tyndall cone anta kari tibi. See, il mark maadi dini Tyndall cone. Okay. One bright cone appear agatha. That is called as what? Tyndall cone. Okay. So, now, let us write what is Tyndall effect. So, Tyndall effect when a beam of light, when a beam of light, when a beam of light is passed, is passed through, through a colloidal solution, colloidal solution, colloidal solution and is observed and is observed and is observed at right angle, at right angle to the direction, to the direction, at right angle to the direction of beam of light, beam of light, when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution, passed through a colloidal solution and is observed at right angle. So, this is the direction you are going to observe at right angles to the direction of beam of light. Okay. The path and the path and the path is visible and the path is visible, visible in the form of, in the form of, in the form of bright cone, bright cone, bright cone. So, and is the path is visible in the form of bright cone due to, due to, due to, due to scattering of light, due to scattering of light, due to scattering of light, due to scattering of light by the colloidal particle by the colloidal particle. Okay. 
white looks bright cone yake bright cone kaanta ide alli the reason is due to the scattering of light by the collider particle this is what tyndall effect okay thumba important and when you see through ultra microscope you cannot see the particle particles kaanala alli okay just you can see the scattering of light so most important adu gotirbeku ultra microscope inda nodadaga particles kaanala but scattering of particles scattering of light you can see sorry what is that scattering of light you can see so okay this is about what tyndall effect right so now note kodi okay students next we have color next property is color after tyndall effect you have to see the color color of the colloidal solution okay so what the says yen agutte idalli illi yen agutte color hege absorb martira color na okay on what factor it will depend so first factor is wavelength wavelength of the light used to scatter wavelength of light wavelength of light so used by the colloidal particle to scatter okay wavelength of light and this wavelength of light depends on size of the particle size of the particle so how it depends on the size of the particle okay suppose if we take uh, gold it is having finest particle finest antandre completely small particles okay so smallest and finest anta helthi finest particle antandaga what is the color here the color will be red the color will be red if the color is red now just i am going to know really size of the particle depends on the size of the particle anta helta idivi wavelength of light depends on size of the particle hege sir gold finest gold red color just increase the size size increase aadre red changes to purple red changes to purple again still you increase the size purple changes to blue color you should know this purple changes to blue color red itto purple aitu matte enaitu blue aitu yavaga when you increase the size size na increase madidre ili color change aagta hogutte therefore the color depends on what size of the particle okay so wavelength of the light and this wavelength of the light depends on the size of the particle next so how the receiver receives the light adru mele depend agutte hege sir so first one godaitu second one how the receiver receives the light so that also matters so if he receives the light the reflected light reflected light in the receive madidre reflected light alli yen agabodu sir what is the color reflected light iga example ondu milk matte water thogona milk and water combination so reflected light inda nodidre that looks blue reflected light inda nodidre blue color kanutte solution adu colloidal solution ene milk matte water thogondra colloidal solution it looks blue or next iga nanu yen martini antara transmitted light inda nodtini if i see through transmitted light what is the color then that appears red blue yava kanutte so if the light is transmitted transmitted light inda nodidre it looks blue okay so what is that reflected light inda nodidre blue but transmitted light inda nodidre color eno red agirutte okay so how you receive the light that also matters these two most important points for the color of the colloidal solution okay so what do you mean by brownian movement next topic brownian movement most important for your examination so when you see through ultra microscope you can see the particles moving in zigzag motion zigzag motion there are the particles okay and that is called as for brownian movement and it is studied by robert brown okay so next uh, brownian movement doesn't depends on the nature of the particle nature of the colloidal particle but it depends on the size of the particle size of the particle number 2 depends on viscosity smaller the size of the particle and lesser the viscosity smaller the size of the particle and lesser the viscosity motion will be faster so the motion depends on size and viscosity anta artha alige alwa so size kadame aadre so it will be faster the motion will be faster so viscosity if the viscosity is lesser the motion will be faster so it depends on what size and viscosity right and unbalanced bombardment so due to unbalanced bombardment of the particles of the molecules of dispersion medium 
Okay. So, dispersion medium. So, there will be continuous motion, zigzag motion seen. And also, this Brownian movement, what is the use of this Brownian movement? It shows the stability of the soil. Hey, the stability of the soil and Tandre? Andre, this Brownian movement, continuous Brownian movement, due to this continuous Brownian movement, the particles will not settle. Particles settle up with a coagulate. So, therefore, it will not settle. So, therefore, I can say it gives the stability of the soil. So, this is about Brownian movement. Okay. So, next we have charge on colloidal particles. So, you all know that if we consider any colloidal particles, it will carry either positive charge or negative charge. Positive charge are carry mode, negative charge are carry mode, Differ, depends on what? Preferential adsorption of charge from the solution. Okay. There will be some reasons why it will carry the charge. Because reason number one to order. So, reason number one, you know, capturing of electron from air, capturing of electron from air, that is the first reason. Second reason, reason number two, preferential adsorption of ions from the solution. Example, you quoted in the positive charge salts negative charge salts at the depends on what preferential. So, preferentially depends. So, which charge it will adsorb from the solution. Example no daily positive charge salts and react over the way hydrated metallic uh, oxides example Fe 2 O 3 with x moles of water. Next we have basic dye stuffs. Basic dye stuffs are the example of the methylene blue. Methylene blue is nothing but basic dye though. methylene blue. Okay. So, hemoglobin hemoglobin also carries what positive charge they are nothing but what positive charged you can negatively charge salts on the thawandaga so you have metals so example gold salt atau silver salt thawandra so it carries what negative charge next to metallic sulfides on thawandaga it carries what negative charge example arsenic sulfide anta idhi ala so illi what is the charge s2 minus 2 minus and reno negative ion so then acid dye stuff example eosin what is that eosin as an example next we have salts of starch so gum gelatin okay these are the examples for negatively charged salts and positively charged salts Higa. example preferentially it adsorbs on the way alwa so preferentially it adsorbs on the way the adsorb agate let us see that okay students now uh, let us take silver nitrate, highly diluted silver nitrate solution, AgNO3 solution. Okay. So, I am going to add this AgNO3 solution to highly diluted potassium iodide solution. What is that? Potassium iodide solution. Now, what is the sol obtained? Yaw sol Here you are going to get AgI, silver iodide sol. Okay. But, yaw aganan sol when it carries some charge. So, here the charge carried will be I minus. Yeah, okay, sir, I minus. So, now not absorb maadi. potassium iodide is there, AgI is there. So, AgNO3 is dropped to potassium iodide. So, you got AgI. So, it carries I minus. I minus charge na carry maadat. Adhra, illi ni absorb maadu ka kaya no, dispersion medium mathe ili sol idhi ala. Okay. It's potassium iodide AgI. What is the common ion present? I. So, therefore, it adsorbs I minus. Elaine Martha there, I minus the adsorb Martha there. Now, interchange Martha Niga. Potassium iodide. Potassium iodide now you are going to drop into silver nitrate solution AgNO3. Ulta. When you add AgNO3 to potassium iodide solution, you are going to get silver iodide sol and it carries I minus because you see this too. Yellow no note the common ion I. So, therefore, it adsorbs I minus. Potassium iodide mati AgNO3. So, I am going to add potassium iodide to AgNO3. Ulta itiga. Now, so the product obtained is same. Andre another product andre sol obtained is same. Of course, it will carry some charge. Now you see the common ion. Iga common ion nodi. Ili common ion yado Ag plus ion. So therefore, this is what Ag plus. Now the sol carries Ag plus. This is called as what preferential adsorption of charge. Okay, this carries I minus and this carries Ag plus. Good luck, Tidya. Higa sir, here very well is the Agi there. Agi, you got Agi. Elderly Agi bandi there. Elderly Agi bandi there. So Agi is then Tandre. So what about the uh, what about the charge adsorbed on this sol? 
the charge absorbed on this salt will be I minus I minus I minus I minus I minus and finally, I minus correct. So, on this salt A G I first case thought I I minus this is the charge absorbed on this salt. Okay. So, now is a fixed layer on the karitiv. Yake this is directly absorbed on the particles of the salt. A salt particles may E ion say erodu. You know now fixed layer on the karitini. Okay. Now this ion I minus I minus iodide ion idiala. This iodide minus ion, iodide ion, e iodide ion no counter ion na attract martha over the it adsorbs the counter ion. So, yad sir counter ion is the the counter ion will be so here you have k plus ion idia dispersion medium nodi. You get dispersion medium of the tongandaga, this is I minus, I minus will be adsorbed by the sol. Mugito, e I minus ye, what is the counter ion? k plus. So, no delay. So, this is what k plus on this. K plus ions will be adsorbed. K plus ions will be adsorbed, and this is called as what? So layer number two. So layer number one, fixed layer. Layer number two is adsorbed, and this is called as what? Mobile layer. Mobile layer anta helti vidna. Yena ta kariti vidna? Mobile layer. Okay. So mobile layer. And the yeshu layer formation ay thili. There is a formation of two layers. Ida na wo L molds. Double layer at the current way. This is also called as what? Elmolds double layer. So, E mobile layer na now diffused layer on the current What is this? Diffused layer. This is diffused layer and this is called as what? Fixed layer. Fixed layer on the yak elbek is in a sol may lay though adsorb agide. Therefore, it is fixed. But this ions, these ions will attract or will, at, will adsorb some the counter ion. What is the meaning of counter ion? The charge opposite to these ions. These ions are negative and mele positive ne attract mar kobe ko adsorb mar kobe ko. K plus ions alla idhen. Inu oldi remaining ions idhi alla. Remaining ions. Remaining ions andra inu yero talap. K plus I minus ions. So these ions will be distributed like this. He yero the. Distribute a yero the. Ina na vyanta kare tebe double layer. Helmholtz double layer anta kare tebe. Helmholtz double layer and then mele. So, there is a potential difference between these two. The diff potential difference between these two is called as in you know, potential difference. Okay, exactly like capacitor. Capacitor hey, not there potential difference hage between these two ions. Ilima negative ion is positive ion. This layer madhya one potential difference. That is now zeta potential and the karate. We know zeta potential. This is called as zeta potential. This is called as what? Zeta potential. Arthakti dia, tumba important to get a node. The end layer bandiga, double layer banta, you got the double layer. So, this is the first layer, and this first layer is called as what? So, this is called as what? Uh, fixed layer. And the second layer, which is adsorbed on the fixed layer, is called as, is called as diffused layer. Okay. Once a node called it. So, is got the difference between the potential difference is called as zeta potential. And now, zeta potential. Anta. No okay, students. Next, we have electrophoresis. Okay. So, what do you mean by electrophoresis? Why we have to use the electrophoresis? In Q is modified electrophoresis. Now, okay, if you have colloidal solution, these colloidal particles will carry some charge. The hell Suppose I do not know the charge. Yaw charge carry the colloidal solution particles. So, I am going to put that colloidal solution in this apparatus. This apparatus is not it. So, we will keep the colloidal solution in this apparatus. In the dispersion medium, water is the dispersion medium. Okay. Sir, what is the use? Angar sir, and gottila, e gottila and tanbele, lakar taksta hai gotta gate. So, here we have two electrodes, one is anode and another is cathode. Arthakti dia. So, now I electric field apply martini. When I apply electric field, suppose if that colloidal particles carry positive charge. If the colloidal particles carry positive charge and these colloidal particles starts moving towards cathode, yeah, ke, or the positive charge and mele, cathode no negative charge, it moves towards cathode. Okay, this one. Suppose if it carries negative charge, illa sir, a colloidal particles so negative charge there, not in those in direction. If it carries negative charge, it will move towards anode because anode is made up of positive charge. So, this is about electrophoresis. 
electrophoresis. Suppose by mean of yada on the method use maadi, I am going to prevent this electrophoresis, I am going to prevent the movement of this ions. Okay, when I want to prevent the movement of the ions of this colloidal particles. So, now the dispersion medium itself starts moving in the presence of electric field. If the dispersion medium itself moving in the presence of electric field and that is called as electro osmosis in the presence of electric field. So, it is called as what electro osmosis. Ili dispersion medium move Dispersion medium I have prevented the movement of the colloidal particle ions. So, colloidal particles the movement and avoid martaidini. So, therefore, prevent martaidini. So, therefore, there is a movement of dispersion medium itself in the presence of electric field and that is called as electro osmosis and now electro osmosis and the character. So, this is about electrophoresis and electro osmosis. Okay, so next we have coagulation. What is the meaning of coagulation? So, coagulation and you know, the settling of colloidal solution is called as what? Coagulation or it is also called as what? Precipitation of salt. Okay. And as a precipitation and takshna other mill charge irata iralva, 100 percent charge irala. Charge na now eliminate madhare, if you remove the charge, so 100 percent colloidal solution gets converted into precipitate. Okay. Iga na we every type salt go to there, first one is lyophobic and second one is lyophilic salt. First one let us see lyophobic salt, how to coagulate this lyophobic salt. So, first one otherly already you know electrophoresis, eek tane no didra. Electrophoresis, is it right? It just to note the electrophoresis. So, by this electrophoresis, you can coagulate the salt. Suppose, only negative salt in our idre, so it moves towards positive electrode. Yeah, do anode. Are there negative salt agitre? Negative salt agitre, it moves towards positive electrode that is anode and gets discharged. Discharge agi finally gets converted into precipitate. Idi adi do electrophoresis. First method, first method to coagulate lyophobic sol. Okay. Second one, next we have by boiling the colloids. So usually sol na niyo boil marte ra, boil marta ge na ito disturbance seta gatali. Yen disturbance antandre. Okay, students. Next we have the boiling by boiling the colloids. By boiling the colloids antre yen you know, you are going to boil the sol. When you boil the sol. So, collision increases, Ali collision jasti agate, ya ke kinetic energy jasti agate, how dalwa? So, kinetic energy jasti agate, colloidal particles matte, dispersion medium particles matte, collision jasti agate. Collision jasti adaga, so the charge on this colloidal particles will be eliminated. So, yawag eliminate aito charge, they start coagulating. So, coagulate aito under any other precipitate I convert agate. So, finally, it will be settled down. Ella settle agate, therefore, it is called as what unstable. Ega stability illa. So, this is one more method by boiling the colloids. Boil maadi takshna gota hai talwa, charge will be eliminated because collision between the colloidal particles and the particles of the dispersion medium. Al charge ye naak bodo, dispersion medium mera counter ayan jote ye do react aage, charge ye eliminate agate. Okay. So, this is by boiling the colloids. Okay. So, next we have by persistence dialysis. Next one you know by persistent dialysis, the answer is the persistent dialysis, continuous dialysis. Yeah, continuous dialysis agate. So, after the elimination of electrolytes, next thing agate andre, the charge on the particles also will be eliminated, charge on the particle also will be eliminated, finally, they gets coagulated, they become unstable. So, coagulate aito andre you know, precipitate agate. So, by persistent dialysis, continuous dialysis. So, first in electrolytes cell eliminate agate, impurity cell eliminate agate. Finally, dialysis high continue madhidre. So, charge on the particle also will be eliminated. So, finally, so that gets coagulated. So, the ions will be far away from each other before coagulation. Now, what happens? They start coagulating and settle down. So, precipitate agi convert agate. So, this is by persistence dialysis. Next, you have by mixing two oppositely charged salt. By mixing two oppositely charged salt, in our mutual mixing and then carry TV. Mutual mixing in mutual mixing and suppose if I take so Fe2O3 ferric oxide, ferric oxide, hydrated ferric oxide. So hydrated ferric oxide is nothing but positive salt. That's a positive salt. So already I have quoted an example. So if I am going to combine 
arsenous sulphide AS 2 S 3 arsenous sulphide it is a negative salt. My mixing two opposite charge salt you have one day to one day Fe 2 O 3 Fe 2 O 3 Fe 2 O 3. So, x moles of water and to one day this is what hydrated ferric oxide salt. So, positive salt. Okay. So, same ratio to what in equal proportional to what in a with respect to what arsenous sulphide AH 2 S 3. Arsenous sulphide is nothing but negative salt. Now, I am going to combine these two mutual interaction between these two. Aga opposite charge in it to neutralize agate. Opposite charges so neutralize agaga charge a ilma lali. Opposite charge neutralize it to therefore neutralize. So, neutralize it to antandre. So, finally, they get coagulated. So, partially coagulated or completely they get coagulated. So, yake reason na? by the mixing of two oppositely charged salt. So, this is what by mixing two oppositely charged salt. Alligi the profit any day lay profit to yellow salt no what ye coagulate more bodily. Ili ferric oxide solo, mate arsenic sulphide solo, yellow coagulate act by by mixing two oppositely charged salt. Okay, students, so next we have last by adding electrolytes. So, when you add electrolytes, so usually we are going to add electrolytes why? So, for the adsorption of charge by the colloidal particles. Other excess arbitrate, excess arbitrate, example, you can have ferric hydroxide salt, ferric hydroxide salt, FeOH3 salt, it carries Fe plus 3 ion. So, which is the electrolyte you have added? Fe Cl3 ferric chloride add maditive. If it is excess, it is excess ion thandre, it is plus 3 ion, you have Cl minus ion, it is counter ion, Cl minus ion, negatively charged, this is what positively charged. You have excess electrolyte in a thandre, this positive charge plus 3 ions will start, will start reacting with the Cl minus ions. E Cl minus ion jate react ag start agate, react ag again I to plus 3, it will react with 3 Cl minus ion. If it reacts with 3 Cl minus ion gets neutralized, it is neutralized I to thandre. So, finally, this starts coagulating, how the law is coagulate act start agate, correct thane. Adike now in our coagulate madbar do thandre. So, we have to minimize the electrolyte solution. E electrolyte solution are requisite minimum na lirbeko, requisite minimum na lidre, minimum na lidre 100 percent coagulate agala. By chance excess in our thombutre by adding electrolyte, excess electrolytes add madidre. So, definitely this opposite ions for this Fe plus 3 ion, Ili example on the order of Fe plus 3 ion. E Fe plus 3 ion ge opposite charge yado Cl minus ion. E Cl minus ion Fe plus 3 ion jate react aage finally gets neutralized. Idna na vayanta kariti viga Cl minus ion na coagulating ion anta kariti viga. This is called as what? Coagulating ion. Okay, idu positive aage rada it will attract negative ion. If it is negative, Arsenic sulphide solent of arsenic solo, a negative solo that will attract positive ion and gets coagulated. Coagulate I2. So, excess electrolyte coagulation takes place by the reaction of the opposite charges. Ili plus 3 to any the charge carried by the sol is Fe plus 3 ion plus 3 ion. This plus 3 ion will react with the electrolyte of opposite charge. Okay, coagulating ion and the karate within. So, this is what by adding electrolytes. Okay, students. Next we have R D skulls rule. What is this R D skulls rule? Just now we have seen that addition of electrolyte. Excess of electrolyte add madid. Suppose excess of electrolyte is added to negative salt. Negative ion of the salt will react with the positive ion of the electrolyte. A positive ion and the healthy well other now coagulating ion and the healthy. A coagulating in one word is there, and in a do flocculating, flocculating and then I help you, flocculating ion, coagulating ion and the help of the other can now in one word and the use marty, flocculating ion and then a carry TV. Okay. So, what is the use of flocculating ion? So, flocculating ion will neutralize the charge on the salt. Positive salt is there, negative ion, negative flocculating ion, negative salt is there, positive flocculating ion will neutralize that charge and then gets coagulated. So, greater the valency of this flocculating ion, what is Hardy's Kulls rule now? Greater the valency of the flocculating ion, the power of the precipitation will be more, the power of the precipitation will be more, greater the power of precipitation, greater the valency of flocculating ion, 
So, greater will be the power of precipitation and that is called as what R D scale zone. Mathe repeat maadta hai dine. So, greater the valency of the flocculating ion. So, then the greater will be the power of the precipitation. So, this is called as what Hardy Skulls rule. In the now Hardy Skulls rule and the Kariti. Example, if it is negative sol, negative sol. So, then A L plus 3 will be greater than negative sol agitra A L plus 3 greater than B A plus 2 and it is greater than sodium ion. No deal. So, decreasing order will be the So, aluminum ion, barium ion and sodium ion. So, greater the flocculating value, okay, greater the valency of the flocculating value, valency, you know the valency just is yeah. So, among Al plus 3, Ba plus 2 and Na plus, among these 3. So, if I am going to use Al plus 3 ion, Al plus 3 ion use by the way. So, precipitation will be more, precipitation will be more. Suppose, instead of that barium plus 2 ion use by the way, precipitation decreases. So, then finally, if I use Na plus ion, Electrolytal Na plus ion is then than koli. Ions use madhara na no. So still the precipitation decreases. And the greater the valency, so the power of the precipitation will be more. Okay. So valency decrease adange the power also decreases. So if it is positive sol, positive sol is then madhbo do. So you are going to take the negative ion. Example. So FeCN6. Kali diralva FeCN6. So this is what four minus. What is the valency here on the complex four minus? Next, I am going to take PO4 3 minus, then you have sulphate SO4 2 minus, SO4 2 minus, then finally I am going to take Cl minus. What do you like? Greater the valency of the flocculating value, so flocculating ion, greater the valency of the flocculating ion, the power of the precipitation will be more, greater will be the power of precipitation. Okay? So, this is what, notice this is for what? Positive sol and this is for negative sol. These are called as what coagulating ions. Ido stain ido coagulating ions. So, this is about Hardy Skulls rule. Okay, so next to examination kale bodu coagulating value. We have to define coagulating value. What is this coagulating value? See minimum concentration, minimum concentration, minimum concentration in milli milli moles per liter milli moles per liter milli moles per liter minimum concentration in milli moles milli moles per liter required 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 to precipitate required to precipitate required to precipitate in 2 hours required to precipitate the sol in 2 hours and is called as what coagulating value. Now, coagulating value in the correct way, minimum concentration in millimoles per liter required to precipitate in 2 hours. See, concentration yadal irbeko millimoles per liter required to precipitate in 2 hours and that is called as what coagulating value. Smaller the quantity needed, okay, smaller the quantity, small quantity is needed. So, therefore, the coagulation power will be more. So, coagulation power jasti beko andre, the quantity will be smaller. Tumba kadumba quantity toko beko, therefore, the coagulation power will be more. Okay. So, higher the coagulation value, so lower the coagulation value, I can say lower the coagulation value. So, therefore, coagulating power will be more. Okay. Coagulating value kadame andre, coagulation power jasti rate. So, this is what coagulating value. Next, we have coagulation of lyophilic sol. So, this is entirely different from lyophobic sol. Yak is entirely different as healthy vendra. Here you have two factors. First factor solvation of solvation of colloidal particles, solvation of colloidal particles. Number two, solvation of colloidal particles. Number two, you already know that charge. Other end, you lyophobic sol to one day one factor ado charge. Are different methods no dira he coagulate madam. But illi you have two types. Solve ya kesa solvation and you know lyophilic salts are lyophilic salts are solvent loving. They are solvent loving, is it right? So now these collides are surrounded by solvent. Now I need to eliminate that solvent. E coagulate madam, you have two factors. Therefore, this is stable. Lyophilic salts are stable. Why and because of these two factors? Lyophobic salt only one factor is there. 
So, compared to that lyophilic salts are stable reason you have two factors solvation of colloidal particles number two charge. Sir, how can you remove coagulate maadbe kundre. First one you know solvation of colloidal particles. Hey coagulate maadte ra first one you solvation of colloidal particles and you have to remove that solvent. For that I am going to use alcohol, alcohol or acetone, alcohol or acetone na use maadi. So, it adsorbs what solvent. So, colloidal solution ge alcohol or acetone add maadad right, it adsorbs this solvent ali ge first factor I to. Adsorb I next thing is there charge, charge na again you neutralize maadad by the addition of electrolyte. Electrolyte na add maadi excess of electrolyte, so the charge whatever the charge present here this will adsorb the opposite charge from the electrolyte finally gets neutralized. So, therefore, coagulation of lyophilic salt you have two factors ok students production of salt already you know that lyophilic salts are highly stable compared to lyophobic salt. They are stable yeah, okay? because of two factors already I factor na explain maadi dini. Ega I need to protect this lyophobic salt, lyophobic salt na hey protect maadi vi. So, that is protected by lyophilic salt ok. Lyophilic salt will protect this lyophobic salt hey, okay, sir. So, I am going to add lyophilic salt to lyophobic salt, lyophilic salt na lyophobic salt ke add maadi dini. Lyophilic, lyophilic sol, sol is added to, is added to lyophobic sol, lyophobic sol. When you add lyophilic sol to lyophobic sol and this forms the protective layer around this lyophobic, lyophobic sol. E lyophobic sol sutta, lyophobic sol sutta, so this lyophilic sol forms protective layer. If sutta protective layer act madat. Yaudu lyophilic salt. So, finally, when you add an electrolyte, Atma yaudu an electrolyte atra bandre, so this will not, this lyophilic salt will not allow this electrolyte to coagulate this lyophobic salt. E lyophobic salt na coagulate madak bidala, yaki already on cover aidela. This layer is covered around this lyophilic salt, sorry, lyophobic salt. Yen covering ado lyophilic salt. This lyophilic salt is covered around this lyophobic salt, lyophobic idu, ok which is the protecting layer now, lyophilic salt is the protecting layer. Therefore, when an electrolyte comes near to this, so this lyophilic salt will not allow this electrolyte. So, therefore, this lyophobic salt is protected, either now production of salt on the karitivi, ok. So, yadu yadu no protect maadta daile, so lyophilic salt protects lyophobic salt. Yaa kesa lyophilic salt or lyophobic salt na protect maadta daile, because lyophilic salt is stable compared to lyophobic sol because of those two factors one though solvation in on the charge. So, this is about protection of salt. Thank you.